Okay, welcome to lesson 8. It is about types of deltas. We have already defined the delta and looked at uh, the formation of the delta in lesson 7. So here we are looking at types. We have archweight delta and before we look at all, I think the shape of each delta will help you to understand faster. Archweight delta. This is a delta which has got the following characteristics. We shall base on characteristics to understand the difference between one delta and another. This delta is triangular in shape, so it's cone like. This delta has a rounded sea edge, the edge that enters the sea is round. This delta contains small deposits. The materials that give this, this delta are small in size. It has many distributaries. Many distributaries, small deposits. Uh, it has a rounded seaward edge. It's triangular in shape. Each shape is this one. As you can see, it's cone-like. It is cone-like. Then we have estuary in delta. Uh, this is a delta that looks like an estuary. When we are studying uh, features that result from sea level rise, we talked about an estuary. An estuary is a flooded river mouth, a feature which is formed when the river mouth at the coast has been submerged. So it looks like an estuary. Characteristics of this delta, uh, it has got flooded river mouth, just like an estuary. It contains big deposits, and the example includes Zambez and Volta deltas. Zambez is on, my, on river Zambez and Volta on river, De on river Volta. Its appearance is like this. You see, formerly this river was entering the sea, and its mouth was captured or flooded, forming an estuary in Delta. Then we have bird's foot Delta. This one looks like the foot of a bird. Hmm? It contains very fine deposits, very fine. It has a shape like cross of a bird, a bird's foot. That's why it gets its way. That's why it gets its name, bird's foot delta. Uh, and examples can be seen on Mississippi River. This is the illustration of the bird's foot delta. It looks like the foot of a bird, as simple as that. Then we have a caspet delta, a delta that takes a shape of a caspet. We studied these features also under coastal geomorphology, the caspets. Mm -hmm. uh, they are features that result from wave deposition on the coast. Caspets are protruding features of, of uh, deposition or materials protruding from the mainland entering the water, the sea. So they are finger-like features protruding into the sea, forming caspet deltas. The caspet the caspet deltas are not common. Majorly, we have three the first three, we have estuary delta, archway delta, and bird's foot delta. They are common. Then you can ask yourselves that what are the conditions that favor delta formation? For all this extensive land or flat area made up of deposition of materials of a river at the river mouth to form 
What are the conditions, factors that favor the formation of deltas? Like Nairo Delta is our best example. There must be much deposition because depositional materials are raw materials, are tools used to build the delta. So the river must be having much deposits. Then we have long river profile. The river profile from the source to the mouth, the longitudinal profile of the river must be long to allow enough erosion, enough transportation, and ends with enough deposits. Enough deposits will build a mature delta. Then we have extensive flood prey. This lowland neighboring the main river where these deposits will be deposited. If the plain or if the valley, the flood plain is narrow and small, the delta will not mature, it will not be extensive. Then we have flat gradient. For deposits to, 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 to take place or to be deposited in one place and remain there to form a delta, this area should not be steep. The gradient or the relief where this delta will form must be flat for easy deposition. Limited waves in the sea at the river mouth. Hmm? The waves in the sea at the river mouth where deltas form must be weak because if they are strong, they destroy the delta before it matures. You see? Advantages of deltas. Deltas are very important, like Nairo Delta. Deltas promote mining, simple, because they contain sand and silks. And if you look at Nairo Delta, there is also oil mining in Nairo Delta. On Nairo Delta, there is oil mining. Hmm? Then we have deltas provide building materials like sand. Deltas contain pastures for animals. Vegetation grows on these deltas, and uh, this vegetation may provide pastures for animals. Deltas promote research and fieldwork. Is uh, they are good sites for settlement. Deltas are not always water logged. No. Mm. Uh, they contain vegetation that promotes handcraft like basket making. They contain fertile soils for crop growing. However, negatively, deltas might be breeding sites or areas or grounds for vectors, hmm? mosquitoes, and therefore, these mosquitoes may spread diseases, malaria, and again, deltas can attract floods because they are flat. Mm 